Hey guys, this is Amrita from Mommy Shots. Welcome to my first editing video tutorial where I'll be showing you how to simply take a cream backdrop layer such as this one and change it to an entirely different color in Photoshop. Now I love using this technique where you can change the backdrop layer or the blanket because it allows you to offer different shades to your client gallery or you can even do this trick to match it to your baby's outfit or you know a simple prop or an accessory. Or it could be a way for you to offer a color to your client that they're requesting and where you necessarily don't own a blanket in that color. This is a great technique also because you don't really have to own a blanket in every color and a simple cream or a light gray would fit perfectly for this technique. Now I'm going to show you how to do it very seamlessly so no one can really tell. If you're new to my channel, this is a one-stop resource for everything child and newborn photography related. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and you will be notified when our next video is released. So let's get started. I have a finished image over here, which I brought to Photoshop. Um, I'm simply going to drag the background layer down here to create a copy. Or another way to do that would be by simply going to layer and duplicating the layer say okay in Photoshop there are multiple ways to do one exact action I'm gonna show you one simple way that I would do it so to start with I'm, I'm currently okay with what my finished image looks like so I'm gonna go straight to layer new full layer and I'm gonna choose solid color say okay now this is basically the tonality I can possibly choose for that particular blanket so I'm gonna choose a more mustard shade maybe yeah I think this is okay um, we can always change this later if we want to and I'm gonna click OK here now um, you've got to change the blending mode over here right down to color all right now Click on the masking box here and make sure your foreground and background swatches are selected. Choose the brush tool. I'm going to choose the uh, black brush as the foreground swatch and all I'm going to do is simply remove the color of the parts of the image that I don't want it on. Another little feature that I would pay attention to is the softness or the hardness of the brush. So the size of the brush is really based on what what size you want to keep it to the hardness I could even bring it down to zero let's see so you can go a little bigger here typically my style is go with nice earthy tones um, and I love to match the outfit in the backdrop and that's a personal choice of yours so I'm just gonna quickly remove it off very roughly may seem a little weird at the beginning with the baby looking very alien like but it, it looks a lot nicer once we're done you've got to be really careful around uh, the strands of hair spilling out onto the white blanket just to make sure the cream blanket doesn't really show once you edit it off these parts so this is just a rough job that I would do and then I'd go back and revisit all of this and clean it up in a better way A nice way to check if uh, for the areas that you've masked is by hitting the backslash button on your on your laptop to see what parts you've removed it from. Um, as you can see, I've pretty much touched all parts of his skin and the outfit, but I'm going to go and redo the outline in a neater manner right now. So I'm going to hit the white foreground swatch and go back and fill up parts. By decreasing the hardness of the brush to zero, it allows me to make sure there's no spillage of the color onto the skin and I'm able to define the lines between the skin and the blanket very, in a very clean manner.
Okay, once you've finished retouching all the edges in a fine manner, I'm gonna hit the backslash button to see if there are any spots I've missed and I can see quite a few, so I'm gonna fix those now. An important thing here would be making sure one is the brush hardness and two the accuracy of cleaning the edges up. Okay, now I think I'm done, but this is way too far a color from the mustard I actually wanted. Uh, it's more lemon green, so I'm just going to play around till I find a color that suits my requirement. There is a mustard I like. Um, I also want to stick to the same um, tonal range of the blanket that we have in existence. So typically the colors that Photoshop would offer you would be in the tonal range of the original blanket color. So um, it would be hard to switch to a really dark color from a light color blanket and the reverse would also be a little hard to do. All right, that looks good. Um, now is where I'm gonna show you the magic where you can play with all of these colors that Photoshop offers you. And you can simply move around this palette to see what shade you wanna settle with and simply go with those colors that you like. I really like this dusty blue as well. But I'm gonna go back to the mustard we chose. Perfect, and simply click OK. Um, one additional option would be to actually even mask off the buttons if you think brown buttons would look better with the mustard outfit. And here's the original. Here's the revised. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Now I'd really appreciate if you give the video a like as it'll help me understand what type of videos to make. Subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this and be sure to hit that bell icon too if you want to be notified when my next video is up. So I'll see you when I see you. Thank you so much.